A guy sees a sign in front of a house that says talking dog $10. The dog could always become a politician. He's now an NSA agent. Heard it first on the Bob and Tom show. I knew the dog was full of shit because that's not what Interpol does. Congrats on the 500th posting of this joke. An Englishman, Frenchman, and Turk. No fee. He only takes tips. That's a good one. Do flies even have a foreskin? I tried googling it. But all I found was a medical case study of a man who came back from a visit to Belize with a botfly larva growing under his foreskin. Dirk takes out his scimitar, swings once but fly still buzzes around. Frenchman and Englishman laugh you missed, fly still fly. Yes says the Turk, fly can fly, but cannot fuck. Killing take no skills, but circumcision, that take guts. A professional circumcier is called him oh hell. Dad joke wash. Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. I thought it was good take an upvote. When you have to explain the joke, it's already lost. Appliance company called to reschedule an appointment. The sweet lady asked, is there any way they could get there at 11.00? I said, they can probably just drive. The rest of the call was uncomfortable for everyone. Pearls before swine. Brother. I enjoyed it. Smiley face. I have a t-shirt with a chicken sitting on the pie symbol and a cannabis leaf in its mouth and the amount of people that have no clue what it is. Chicken pot pie, is astounding. It was a dadly feat, sad face, tough crowd. It takes a real dad to understand the value of pie these days. Someday she's gonna get the joke and she will, let's hope she will feel something. That cookie joke was bad taste. Drunk sex is almost too popular considering the quality of sex is generally worse when drunk. You got to get that sweet spot where you're just inebriated enough to let go of anxieties and inhibitions. Although it may be generally worse, it has the potential to be really great. The amount of time you can last goes up due to the lack of sensitivity. At least there is that for you if you have a stamina problem, lol. It provokes the desire, but it takes away the performance. Shakespeare agrees with you. I'd some of the best sex I've ever had was drunk. I think it's related to lowered inhibitions leading to more sex, and people get it in their head that it's awesome because it gets reinforced. I will say I definitely last about 40 minutes if I've am buzzed, no ed, and people seem to enjoy it. Sober it's probably like 10 minutes. Stone sex is way better. Eating anything as the Hulk too big for Bruce to digest will kill him when he reverts. Except it wouldn't kill him, it'd cause him to Hulk the line in Avengers. I put a bullet in my mouth. And the other guy spit a bullet to the face won't do it then a half digested suckling pig won't. Hulk can't die like would destroy the thing before he revert. Yeah, that's the problem with the Hulk. He has a ritualistic enema that he performs before reverting. I remember it from one of the early comics. That only was a thing when there were zombies Hulk had eaten too many humans and squished out his stomach when he became Banner and Irk. The others tried to eat the free human meat he didn't digest. I think the Hulk's healing factor and high threshold for pain would allow him to survive the digestion process, even if it's not comfortable. He might Hulk out as a result, but I don't see it as a death sentence for Bruce. Forget that. Imagine a constipated Hulk reverting to Banner. God approaches Adam in the Garden of Eden. Q why do men always name their penis? A because they don't want a total stranger making all their decisions for them. I like Robin Williams version better. Good old Robin Williams. So why God can't add some additional blood to Adam? He is almighty, right? Why don't women have a brain? Because they don't have a penis to keep it in. This joke was better in the original Hebrew. I got dad joked at the supermarket. Just a couple of days ago I was at a Starbucks. The total was 18.14. So I handed her a Jackson. And started singing. In 1814 we took a little trip. Along with Colonel Jackson. Down the mighty Missa. Got dad joked at the supermarket. Total was $14.92. And the clerk hits me with a Columbus pun. I guess my groceries just embarked on the explorer's discount voyage. Now I want to go in the total B19.45 to hear what kind of joke he comes up with. Funny. Cause I just discovered $14.92 worth of items like Columbus did. Cashier dropping dad jokes about Columbus at the supermarket. My grocery sailed into dad humor territory, and I'm here thinking, should I tip in gold coins? That joke blew. It's shocking there aren't any high-level porn actress nicknamed Luna Lovegood. There's nothing stopping you up, probably because unless they made it their actual legal name, WB would be on them faster than you can say ejaculato totalis. Why not Luna Lovegreat? Couldn't agree more. Cosplay Luna even. Magic Johnson wasted the world's best poor name on a basketball career Dan Mentos, July 28, 2018. Perhaps you're not familiar with copyright laws. There's June Lovejoy and that's probably the closest we'll get. Copyright infringement. I mean, copyright is a thing, 
No, what makes someone a high-level porn actress? Like, are there formal exams or does your coach just award it to you like jujitsu? Like, is Jenna Jameson a 15th Dan porn grandmaster? Junk food commercials never have obese people. Makeup ads also don't have ugly people. Very rarely are obese people featured in any commercial. Although we are starting to see that a little bit more lately. Like beer commercials featuring dudes with dad bods. Tobacco commercials never showed people with lung commercials never show people dead from a car tool commercials never show anyone losing a how people trying to sell products don't put the possible negative effects in the spotlight, right? It's almost like they want you to actually buy their product. Booze ads don't show folk puking at 3 a.m., or in prison for drunk driving. Beer liquor ads never show the alcoholics that ruin their lives and lose their family and jobs. Whenever I see overweight people in a commercial, I instantly know it's a commercial for a cholesterol or a diabetic drug. They save fat people for Jardians commercials. Men, what is a deal breaker for you in modern dating? Dishonesty is my main one. If you can't trust them, then there's no reason to even date them because you're always going to worry about what they're doing when they're not with you. This sounds dumb. But if she's not into me, I'm not interested. If she plays hard to get, I'm done. I'm not playing the games anymore. You'd be surprised how often a woman has said she was into me, but won't do anything at all to act like she is. Inability to say sorry or own up to their mistakes. Overly dramatic and loud. Wanting to continue living as though they're single but still have the emotional fulfillment of a relationship. Lack of empathy compassion. Honestly I'm just too tired to date anymore. Dying alone is easier nowadays. Having a sugar baby or entitled mentality. Or if I see the line can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve the best. Morals must read as stupidity to people without them. We had a problem at work, and my boss asked me if I knew what happened. I told him I screwed something up, and was in the process of fixing it. He looked at me startled, stammered a bit, and then blurted out, why didn't you lie? It's why people think pathetic is an actually originally meant caring or emotional i.e. apathy apathetic is not caring no emotion since you have the a prefix, like a symmetrical or a sexual and villains in fiction would use it to insult the hero, because to them caring is weakness and many people only ever heard the word as an insult and guessed its meaning from context as weak useless stupid pitiful, to the point where that's just what the word means now. Weakness, I believe, is a word they often like to use about it. My 7 yo today dad can I have some leftover turkey for lunch? Times like these you need to go straight to the bathroom to measure your bald spot. It definitely grew after that public dad joke. You're getting white new balances for Christmas. That's like getting a hole in one and no one sees it. Feel your pain. One time I was at a self checkout at the supermarket, and some Italian sausage in my basket had caused the a colleague is coming to help you alarm. But by the time she arrived, it had sorted itself out so I said to her don't worry, it's a false salami and she just stared at me before walking off. I feel your pain. Well then. Who opened the bag of idiots now they are all over the place. Not even a well deserved groan? Don't worry buddy, it was good one. I guess you'll never serve your chilled poultry again. Yep, I quit cold turkey, cold turkey, knife. No one is above the law is a fallacy perpetuated by those who are above the law. Laws that carry financial punishments are essentially only punishing the poor. No one is above the law so long as the people enforcing the law have an interest in prosecuting him. Weinstein was above the law until he wasn't. Epstein was above the law until he wasn't. With enough public pressure, no one is above the law. This is why those who are trying to be above the law spend their money trying to make sure the public doesn't care about their crimes. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure why people think a civil servant making no more than $200,000 a year is going to be able to take down a multi-millionaire self-claimed billionaire. There's a reason they're joking on the witness stand it's a farce, and they'll get away with it. No one is above the law, but some people have the means and access to get around the law very easily. There is no the law never has been. People have read it. Do you often stay up late because you feel that you haven't had sufficient personal time at home? How does this affect your daily life and routine? Yes, almost every night. I don't want my life to be just about work, eating, and sleeping. Plus, the earlier I sleep, the quicker I have to face work again. As a father, I do this too. The hours between 10 p.m. and 12 1 a.m. are my personal time. Yup, almost daily. I'm tired a lot, but I meet all my obligations. Downside is that I usually sleep a lot on the weekend and I'm sure it's unhealthy in the long term. My evenings are the only time I get to unwind, so I often sacrifice sleep to enjoy hobbies or simply relax. It does make mornings harder, though. My late night routine is like a secret society meeting for one. The initiation ritual? Yawning all day at work. People who can fall asleep quickly, how do you do it? Exhaustion. I close my eyes and go hog shoe. I shut my eyes and notice whatever mental images pop up first. 
then just watch as they shift and change. A really comfortable bed in a weighted blanket with the windows open. I can fall asleep instantly. I get lost in my mind thinking of random scenarios. I close my eyes and select sleep for 6 hours. Works every time. At least I have created a sleep routine. When I want to go to sleep, I always drink water, lie down, stretch my muscles and close my eyes. And after a few minutes I fall asleep. I've made a point of not going to bed until I'm actually tired, even if it means I'm going to bed 7 hours before I need to get up instead of increase in the quality of my sleep. I've gone from being tortured every night lying awake to asleep in minutes. I close my eyes only for a moment and the moment's gone. Still human blood has a protein content around 6-8 grams 100 milliliters, about the same as an average ready-to-drink protein shake, soil and red. Till I can save money on protein shakes. So vampires are really just gym brothers? Cool. But and I found this out the hard way. You cannot use ready-to-drink protein shakes as a transfusion source. What am I supposed to do with this information? So, what are you saying here? No wonder Blade is so muscular. Buff why the vampire slayer? This was written by a vampire. I feel like this is a R life per tips. Spartan warriors drank animal blood mixed with vegetables in a stew Milan is almost dark stock and they were the original beefcakes. Protein powder companies hate this one industry secret. I have some ideas. Vampires had THR right idea. Does this work for other animals blood and if so would that be healthy to consume in large amounts? Asking for a friend. Till James Earl Jones was officially replaced as the voice of Darth Vader last year by AI with Jones' consent. The move was made after he told Disney that he was looking into winding down this particular character. He consented to the future use of his voice with AI to keep Vader alive. I really hope he ensures his estate is paid in perpetuity properly for the use of his likeness. He deserves the break, guy has gotten old. He sounded exhausted in Rogue One and the Lion King remake. He's more machine now than man, to be honest, he probably should have retired years ago. His voice in Rogue One was noticeably different. I just today saw a musical in the James Earl Jones Theater in NY right before it started. The usual pre-show turn off your cell phone spiel opened with hello. This is deep fake James Earl Jones and was cracking jokes based on his greatest hits I am your father etc. So it seems he's lending his AI voice to other places as well. Till Lignum Vitae is a hardwood that was originally used to make propeller shaft bearings for ships and submarines. Lignum Vitae means tree of life. It is one of the hardest woods there is. It's had many other uses as well. From the Wikipedia article. It was the traditional wood used for the British police truncheon until recently because of both its density and its strength, combined with its relative softness compared to metal, thereby tending to bruise or stun rather than simply cut the skin. Also, Merlin's wand in the sword in the stone. So it's also good for beating Madame M.I.M still used as bearings today in some hydroelectric generating stations. I had a middle school science teacher in Panama who would go diving for lignum vitae rail ties and float them with milk jugs to sell. Hope you're still out there mister, that was his real name, lignum what? I made a cool mallet out of it, isn't it ligma? I'm just here for the ligma, lignum nuts. Till the first speeding ticket in history was issued to a person caught speeding at 8 miles per hour 13 kilometers height, 4 times the speed limit of 2 miles per hour 3 kilometers height. In 1896, Mr. Arnold was pursued for 5 miles by a policeman on a bicycle. 2 miles per hour is a slow walk. How is that the speed limit? He was fined 1 shilling and the ticket is still on display at the Maidstone Museum in Kent. President Grant was issued speeding tickets in DC. He even had his horse impounded and forced to walk home. What did his speed detecting parrot tell Mr. Bicycle Cop how fast the guy was going? This smells like profiling to me. A 37.5 minute pursuit. Insert Austin Powers steamroller scene. Jesus, how slow was the bicycle? Four times the legal limit? Guy really got carried away. I imagine it went something like. Sir please stop please. Till that song too. Blur's signature rock song that goes woohoo, is exactly 2 minutes and 2 seconds long and also has 2 verses and 2 choruses. The band also decided to keep the song's name as its place in the tracklist rather than naming it something else. It went to 2 in the UK charts, 2 in Australia's hottest 100, and was ranked number 2 by NME in its end of year list of the top 20 singles of 1997. And none of the other songs in the album sound like song 2. FIFA 98 The Game used it in the opening video and it was glorious. I'm not sure exactly if it was in the game. But for some reason I get strong flashbacks to SSX when I hear this song. I'll never forget child me setting my dad's old Macintosh to play song 2 every time you mouse clicked. Thing nearly exploded. Lead singer also went on to the Gorillas. 
Still that according to the regulations of Formula 1, each team is only allowed to use a maximum of 25 teraflops of double precision 64-bit computing power for simulating the aerodynamics of their cars. How can this rule be checked or enforced? Haas out here with 32 bits, which translates to approximately 3 Python loops. 25 flops is a rate, but the results of simulations depend on the total amount. Do they also limit the amount of time you're allowed to run simulations at 25 flops? Or is it more of a well? If it takes longer than a quarter second nobody in F1 is going to have the patience to wait for it sort of thing. 25 teraflops, but can it run Doom? Well that's floppy, no such thing as a fish. How many teraflops is Adrian Newey's brain? That's one Nvidia H100. Crap, cancel my order for that extra GPU. Till that during the 1980s, anti-nuclear groups mapped the locations of ICBM silos in South Dakota. This was not a security risk because the Soviets already knew the sites of all the missiles. Up until a handful of years ago when the treaty terms were revoked, we flew planes over each other's countries and took surveillance to ensure warheads limit compliance. Totally in the open. Satellites make it less meaningful now. One of the primary purposes of nuclear missile silos was is to make your enemy expend their own missiles trying to destroy yours. This is half-jokingly referred to as the nuclear sponge tactic. So the enemy has to know where they're in order for them to target them. That's also why the silos were scattered around the Dakotas, Wyoming, and the Midwest. Not much of any strategic importance. Till that in 1999, a supermarket in Mejia, Texas was abandoned by its owners and the food inside left to rot after the power was shut off, causing an unholy hive of rot, decay, disease, and infestation to form over 90 days that resulted in one of the most horrifying residential biohazards ever seen. My kid was telling me today that if the zombie apocalypse popped off, he'd take over the Walmart and make it his base. This is what I described to him. He called me a fun killer. It is interesting that burning the building would have been a viable option except for all the rats would have fled to the nearby buildings. It wasn't in Mahaya, Texas, it was in Fort Worth and the name of the supermarket was Mahaya. So the Walking Dead scenario is not viable? Reading through this made my skin crawl. Trogdor the Burninator would have solved that problem. So in Zombieland, the search for the Twinkies would have looked like an entirely different thing. Still that the AK-47 is so iconic that it is on the flags and coats of arms of many countries like Mozambique, Zimbabwe, East Timor, etc. Someone just watched Lord of War. Nick Cage at his finest. I think it's pronounced Warlord. I like my way better. A friend of mine has a war rug from Afghanistan that has an AK-47 woven into the pattern. It's pretty damn cool. It isn't different from putting a sword or a bow if you think about it. The hammer, the sickle, the AK-47. Note to vacation in a country with an AK-47 on their flag. And anything that is not AK-47, is called AK-47 anyway. Etc. here means Burkina Faso, and many means four countries. Still that the pimp from the movie Taxi Driver was originally written to be black as it matched what the writer of the movie was seeing in everyday life but he was changed to white as it was thought to have been unpalatable to audiences. The studio was afraid it would be too incendiary. And the pimp is played by a young Harvey Keitel. Same thing happened in the entire Sykes series, there was only one black criminal, a butler whose musical work was stolen. Many roles have had the race deliberately changed in order to make it palatable to intended audiences or reviewers or ideological look at how the leading males and crazy rich Asians were all half white half Asian, while comedic or negatively stereotyped male roles went to full Asians. I'm until sure if dressing up Harvey Keitel in blackface would have been an improvement. Good Harvey Keitel was perfect for it. And then the actual movie American Pimp tells the real story. That photo is giving loop daddy vibes. The Grinch is microscopic, because he lives in Whoville, which is on a speck sitting on a flower being carried by Horton the Elephant. The book version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas states that Mount Crumpet, where the Grinch lives, is 3,000 feet high. So either there are two Whovie or the Who's have a unit called feet that's much smaller than ours. And the dust speck has mountains. That makes Jim Carrey's depiction of him even more impressive. Bravo. A similar thought occurred to me that the Who's version of Christmas came entirely from what dim awareness they have of the unexplored larger universe. It's the equivalent of trying to recreate an alien culture from a few overheard radio and TV transmissions. I'm pretty sure the Who villain How the Grinch Stole Christmas is the same one in Horton Hears a Who, especially in the Illumination animated movies because some of the Who's in are green in that movie, which implies that they are the Grinch's descendants. The fake workers for the Wendy's commercials are paid significantly better than their real workers. This is apples and orangutans. The commercials are gigs and not careers. They get paid for the commercial and then have to go find other work. They probably also may have a union, on a per hour basis perhaps. 
I doubt any of them can live off of the earnings from just those commercials though. And they don't have to deal with real customers. I bet there are people out there still making $50 for a commercial spot. Well yeah actors are paid more than fast food workers. This gets into shower thoughts but everything else gets. I don't know. I bet if you get a repeat gig with new stuff insurance flow. ATT girl you do pretty good. Where's the paycheck? That's why they provide such great customer service on the commercials. Op thought they did something here lmwoo. I made about $900 hour when I got commercial acting gigs, so yeah, a little bit more. There is a limit to how much effort you are legally allowed to put into a police officer Halloween costume. The tear away pants is a hint. Hey now, if police costumes have to look fake, that totally ruins an important plot point in Hocus Pocus. You can dress up as much as you want as long as you don't identify yourself as a peace officer. At least in the state I live in. In Australia there is no real limit. There has to be intent. Having said that, Guns are illegal and fake real looking ones are included. Also no blue lights on your car. Red and amber are okay. You can legally put in as much effort as you like if you suck at making it realistically like a uniformed officer. Go the extra mile, become a police officer and wear your uniform on Halloween. If you wear an actual badge, it should have a black stripe applied across it to signal you aren't real law enforcement. Wear full outfit but wear a pig. A legal limit at that. There's a lot of technique and nuance to scratching one's balls that half of people don't appreciate. I have a little song I sing if I catch my BF scratching his balls. I'd love to introduce it to the world but they aren't ready. You don't really scratch the balls. That's a common misconception. You pinch and kinda twist a bit. I think Letter Kenny has a cold open about it. The best method emo is the finger flick. You curl your fingers in the same position as if you were going to check your nails, almost an open fist. Then you place your knuckles near the itch and flick out. One flick usually isn't enough but a few flicks works well. The good old pinch and roll. There's always the old hand inside the pocket option. Ah, the good old pinch and roll. Fair skin. You'll eventually get to a point in your life where the nuance stops mattering. The pinch and roll is the gold standard. They only had to change the word snake to essential to get us buying these oils again. This is actually a stand-up bit I saw recently. I'm sure someone else will know the guy's name. Many people confuse the essential part. It only means they are the essence of the that they are essential to anything but the plant. I feel like it depends on what you're expecting them to do. I only expect them to smell good and they deliver on that. ESSSSSSSSSSSSS essential. Dap's forehead. Extra virgin first cold press snake oil. Somehow, I have managed to live 60 years without using any of these oils that are supposed to be essential. Essential oils actually have a purpose though. Like in cooking and in fragrances. I use them because they smell good. Snake oil was still as the insult of the product not the product itself. An actually well-formed and worded shower thought, oh my, we may be two three generations away from not having digital records of our ancestors. I mean, we are seconds away from just being able to delete everything. There's also an issue of digital printouts often being not quite as durable against fading compared to photos from analog film. Future historians might find a huge gap in data when they're trying to piece together daily lives of a person in this, I try to double and triple back up all the data. But even then I'm not quite sure my descendants would be careful enough to carry on that practice, or have a device set up that could read the ancient files. We didn't have digital pictures three generations ago what are you talking about? Something tells me that with time and better technology, we are gonna track ancestors easier not harder. I will not be around to care. I mean, it's not like we have the paintings of our ancestors. Most of us just live our lives before passing on. We're nice to old people who are moving slow but only if they're walking. Not if they're driving slow, because walking slowly is not dangerous whereas driving slower than the flow of traffic is dangerous. Many older people should not be driving, especially if they aren't confident that they can match the flow of traffic and purposely drive more slowly to be safe. I can assure you not everyone is nice to old people that are walking slowly. Driving slow puts others at risk. Walking slow does not. I am never nice to old people. I'm fine with people moving slow, as long as they don't hold other people up. Like if you don't want to do 50 miles per hour. That's fine, but don't drive on a 65 highway. If it's a one lane road and you're building up traffic behind you, pull off and let it by. What are some dad jokes you can actually act out perform? You say, what do you call one of these? While moving your hand and arm like it's a swimming fish. Really get into the physical gesture. They say something like, I don't know. You say something like, I don't know either. But here comes another one gesticulating your other arm, mimicking the first. I say, oh look, escapees. No one likes me BTW. I keep an empty picture accessible at work just in case the photographer comes in. I gesture it towards him and say can you take my picture? Whenever I get out the step ladder for any reason, I say this is my step ladder. I never knew my real ladder. 
What are some dark secrets of working at a casino? Casinos are a last stop for many people on their decision to commit suicide. Many will gamble and drink what bit they have left, get a room and end it. Lots of suicide on the strip. During my 8-hour shift a gentleman won $15,000 on a slot machine. Punched out at end of shift and had the next two days off. Returned to work after my weekend to find the man still sitting at the same slot machine. He had been there for two days losing $15,000. What conspiracy theory do you believe is 100 true? Scientology killed Isaac Hayes. BuzzFeed uses Ask Credit to ask the same question when they're struggling for topics to write about for an article they've done a hundred times already. Crazy celebrity baby names are just professional names. Their real names are much more typical and kept secret so they can have a normal life. Tom Cruise has done some awful things that we will find out later when the business is exposed. I would believe any conspiracy theory that explains why I see a version of this question in my feed three times per day. Things aren't made to last anymore and the companies want you to keep buying more of their product by making them intentionally worse. Women's pants don't have pockets so they can market expensive bags to us. The whole microchips implanted in bodies thing is just a smokescreen to distract us from the fact that cell phones literally do all of those things conspiracy theorists like to spout. What is that one thing that you have invested thousands of hours working on it and now it's useless? Social media. Worst thing I've ever done. I practiced piano for hours every day for 15 years. Performed in multiple countries. Originally went to college for it. Hooray arthritis. My marriage. Construction. I've worked construction in different trades since I was goal was to obtain enough knowledge in each trade that I would be able to build my own home with my two hands and no help from anyone. I'm 29 and injured my back recently. I will never recover fully and won't be able to continue in construction. I'm heartbroken as this has been my dream since a young child. What legendary YouTube channel doesn't make videos anymore? Every frame of painting, gold for film students or aficionados. Niga Higa, Scene Anders, dude was one of the funniest channels around for years. Then he got married and started flipping real estate and had a family. I miss Vsauce, Total Biscuit, Jenna Marbles, Filthy Frank, Physics Girl, Crying face. Hop hey Ash what are you playing? Community frame A for sensible reasons with the first two. Their heart basically just wasn't really in it anymore so they moved on with the last one. The videos required too much work to be financially sustainable. FPS Russia. Source fed. Mystery guitar man. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Technoblade died of cancer last year. Videos are still uploaded to the channel occasionally. But they are made by his seems like a great guy. Epic meal time. Epic rap battles of history. RIP. What was normal 30 years ago but is considered a luxury now. Owning the software you purchased. Owning a house. New furniture made out of real wood. Having a second. Secret S just too expensive now to support a wife and a mistress. It's a bit early. But when married with children was on the air. Nobody questioned that Al could pay for a three bedroom side split home. A car. Two teenagers. A stay at home wife and the occasional night out at the nudie bar on a shoe salesman's S science fiction now. Privacy. You only have a landline to contact me or know where I am, unless I told you I'm going somewhere. Easy to turn the ringer off for a weekend. Nobody knew anything I did unless I told them. Many people commenting don't remember 1993 apparently. They seem to be confusing it with 1953, being offline at least for a while. Owning land. What's a financial shock that people often don't see coming? Almost all the random expenses that come with home ownership. New age van. New roof. Sewer line repair. List goes on. Living too long. It runs out. Family members with poor financial management who have emergencies and no one else to go to. Based on our personal finance. Co-signing a loan and getting stuck paying when the person fucks off. Long-term care you can't take care of yourself. You should budget about $50,000, $100,000 a year. So many planned inheritances go up in smoke because the money they wanted to give their kids goes to their long-term care. Long-term care insurance is important folks. Make sure your parents have an escrow shortage. What's a piece of obsolete technology you still use today because it's better than the modern version? I still use Adobe CS6 because paying monthly for software is some bullshit. The old unsafe gas cans that don't leak gas all over the place. Opening a damn web browser and going to a store's website instead of using an app, if the option is there. Old tools. My garage sale planes are as good as anything made today. My panel saw is perfect. Now, there's a bunch of survivorship bias and sharpening going on here, but I love them. Not exactly obsolete, but I've been told it's odd in 2023. I buy physical CDs, rip them to my hard drive, put a copy on my phone, and listen to my music without ad interruptions or subscription costs. Books. I take books out the library, read them, return them. Seeing what books are available on my want to read list is a fun game in itself. 
What's the biggest turnoff when sleeping with someone for the first time? Poor hygiene, especially in and around the genital area. Bad hygiene smelly breath, but most of all, selfish attitude. I'm pretty horny but if someone smells bad I will nope out of there no matter what they are like otherwise. After they fuck you. They fuck your sister. When they have a blue PVC drum in their bedroom, called me sweetie and tried to dirty talk in the tone of voice people used to talk to dogs, then proceeded to aggressively motorboat my balls for 15 minutes. Apart from hygiene issues, when they immediately want to jackhammer you without much foreplay, and when they're aggressive as hell without making sure that's what you want, showing no self-control. I despise that. That she'd have sex with me. Girl, you're so much better than this. When she just lays there and expects me to do all the work, Sex is a team sport lol. What's the most hilarious porn parody title you know? The Devil Wears Nada, Pulp Friction, in Diana Jones. Weapons of Ass Destruction, Shaving Ryan's Privates, Lawrence of Alabia, Fantastic Breasts and Where to Find Them, The Hills Have Thighs, Lord of the G-Strings, Men in Black Men 2. Always loved we're not porn stars anymore on SNL and they use the tagline from Jaws. You're gonna need a bigger throat. Forest Hump, The Disney Collection, Titty Titty Gang Bang, Booty and the Beast, Poco hot ass, cherry poppins, peeping booty, the little sperm maid, dildo slit, the princess and the hog, moaner, addendum none of these are real, to my knowledge, Disney, DM me if you want to purchase any of the scripts I've written. When hardcore gamers pass from old age, their bloated steam accounts may become a valuable addition of the will. I hope that my beneficiaries enjoy Half-Life 1 and papers please, more silly than anything. Most games don't hold value on Steam very 300 games probably cost an average of $30 lots of low budget crap, humble hundreds, and full priced games. But those full priced games quickly became $10 old games. You can't inherit a Steam account for now. Maybe EU law will make this happen at some point. No shot US copyright law will go against the lobby of Disney and co even considering Guy Valve will not delete or lock the accounts of deceased people though and if you leave the credentials for your children you can keep using it. Until they get sued by publishers for allowing it of cause, you're about to be executed for a crime you didn't commit. What are your last words? Have fun finding the rest of them. You want my treasure? You can have it. I've left it all in one place. You just have to find it. Just say they are coming for you now anything happens in their life they will think of you. Looks over to my right. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. I do not give Netflix permission to use my story. My ancestors are smiling at me. Can you say the same? If you kill me you won't find the bomb there's no bomb, just trying to buy time so I can get proven innocent. You're all a bunch of wankers. Get fucked, you cunts. More weight. One day they'll gonna make a movie about me. And you all gonna look bad in it. Y'all take Clue way too seriously. The One Piece is real. Whoever pushes the button is gay. Checkmate. 